guys, Daniel here, back with another video. Um, you may have seen my previous video on my pie hole um, installation, it's a network wide ad blocker. Right, and this one, this is running on Raspberry Pi. You can, you can run it on other stuff. So this 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 is up and running. Been up and running for a few months. So you can see plenty of stats, etc. This is what's been blocked at the moment, that sort of thing. Um, you can see domains and block domains and LAN clients. Um, purpose of making this video today is how you actually update it. So at the at the bottom, you can see there's updates available. If you click that, um, it will come up with their GitHub page with release information. So you, you can't do it via the, the web interface. So the way you do it is you will go to, you connect via SSH to the Raspberry Pi or whatever you're running it on. Mine's on this IP address. So I'm logged in. Just make this window a little bit bigger. So if you type Pi Hole, oops, you will see a list of commands. And that bit bigger. Let's clear that. Right, here we go. Right, so if you type pi hole, you'll see a list of commands. You can actually restart pi hole on the both services. And you can disable disable it as well via this, so it's quite handy. You can restart the DNS which clears the cache and other bits and bobs. So the way, so what we want to do here is we want to type pi hole, and as you can see here, it's got update. So it's just literally just up, and that's how you do it. Oh, let's get that done. So that will check for updates, and it looks like the FTL is out of date. So let's update that. It does take a few minutes. Looks like that's updated quite quickly this time. Did take a bit long when I did it last time. This is running on an older Raspberry Pi, so it's not the fastest thing in the world. I probably should upgrade it really. And apparently that's done. So FTL version now 2.10. So on here it's 2.9. So if we refresh this page, because I'm going to have to refresh it anyway because it sort of stopped. Give it a few seconds to load. And on the system. It's got quite a bit of CPU usage there, so it's obviously doing something. But essentially, it's up, it's updated the interface and everything. I'll just give it a few minutes just to sort itself out. Date the um, pie hole if you've got it installed. Thanks for watching.